Morning, Laura. Blustery overnight and some parts of the country really got a battering from Storm Brenda, didn't they? Flights diverted, 80 mile an hour winds. How's it looking? So much disruption, but it's worth pointing out the winds today actually will be stronger than they were yesterday for parts of England and Wales. But the storm that is moving through peak winds at lower levels to 87 miles an hour through the Western Isles yesterday where all the schools were closed. And the outlook is for the jet stream to continue to drive weather systems across our shore. A very wet day today and a wet and windy one tomorrow. But it will be calmer as we head through to the weekend. But this is how it looks first thing this morning. Yesterday's rain is now clearing away from the southeast, but then it looks largely fine, rain-wise. But the winds are already with us, and as we head through the next few hours, we see more rain returning through the southwest of England. That makes its way across Wales very quickly, engulfing the rest of England through the day. So do not leave the house without an umbrella. You will need it through England and Wales. Heavy showers for Scotland and Northern Ireland, cold enough for some snow over high ground, a warning for ice here and the winds today will be peaking through England and Wales at 50 to 60 miles an hour potentially 70 around these coasts so we like to see disruption as we head into this evening's rush hour Charlotte well, good morning to you. It is time to take a look at the weather. And yesterday, of course, the impacts of Storm Brendan up and down the country were very, very disruptive, particularly through some coastal areas, huge waves. But let's take a look at the weather for the next seven days to give you an idea of the actual trend for where you live. Now, here, your weekend is always in view. It's worth planning ahead. This here is our average line. And temperature-wise, our temperature's just above average for Scotland and Northern England through the day. But let's bring on our rainfall. I think that's the big thing as we head through the next few days. Days. We start the week wet Tuesday, a little drop tomorrow for some showers, but more rain for Thursday before it turns drier as we head into the weekend. But for England and for Wales, we've got some heckling from the front line there. For England and for Wales, more heavy rain. Warnings today for heavy rain through Tuesday, Wednesday. Things turn a little bit drier and more settled. But look, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, sunshine looks set to return. So you can see from our new outlook how easy it is to plan ahead. But we start wet, but our rainfall trace drops dramatically, the chance of rainfall drops dramatically, you really as do stuff, our temperatures. Your, uh, your trousers. <laughs> uh, this is just a distract from the very wet and windy weather today. These have a little more coming up. I can't sit down yet, no. Just one thing to say, well, two things to say about the Australian wildfires is that they still wow. pair well, look, trousers. Look, a pair of trousers. Sorry, they're just wearing not just a, pair, a of pair of trousers. They're the most skin-tight leather hot bands I've seen in many a year. Fashion. And you paraded them for your seven-day <laughs> weather. No, thing. she was doing her job yeah. presenting the just weather. Just walking just walking a female presenter wears hot pants like that. They expect... Hot pants are short. These are long. These are trousers. What do you call them? Trousers. Leather trousers. They're not trousers. Come on, what are they? They call something trousers. else. Eh? Trousers. They're trousers. trousers. Do you peel them on or what happens? <gasps> Put them on eh? like a normal pair of trousers. Leather They're trousers to do the weather. They're You're not leather. Get people going, wow. They are not leather. leather. They are sustainable trousers. Oh, of course they are. Well, they're certainly <laughs> sustaining you, you Laura. And they're so <laughs> Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. Yesterday, the UK was battered by Storm Brendan. Peak winds at lower levels were 87 miles an hour. Huge waves around the coast. Schools were closed, major travel disruption. The storm was made, named by the Irish Met Service. It is worth pointing out that the jet stream still with us, still powerful weather fronts marching through our country today and tomorrow, settling down into next week. Welcome back to Good Morning Britain. Yesterday, the UK was battered by Storm Brendan. Option yesterday, the winds peaked at 87 miles an hour through the Western Isles, and it was here that all the schools were closed and their ferry services too. Now, it is the jet stream, that fast-moving ribbon of air high in the atmosphere that acts like a conveyor belt, bringing successions of weather fronts across the country as we head through the next few days. But we could take a bit of a breather by the end of the week as high pressure builds in and things look set to settle down. But for the next few days, it remains wet and it remains windy. So this is the scene right now. Rain overnight has cleared away from the southeast corner of England, but hot on its heels. We see our next spell of rain moving in from the southwest. Storm Brendan has now cleared away, clearing away from the far north of Scotland. Still some strong winds here at the moment and some scattered showers. And it's cold enough for them to fall asleep in the snow, even to lower levels the risk of some very icy conditions, so take care here. But England and Wales are very quickly turned very wet and very windy. So this afternoon, the winds will ease a little for Scotland, but still these blustery showers moving through. As I mentioned, the risk of hail and icy conditions with some snow over high ground and even some to lower levels. For England and Wales, a thoroughly miserable afternoon to come. This is the detail at three o'clock today. We have heavy rain, lots of spray on the roads, and the strong winds to contend with. 
40 or 50 mile an hour gusts inland, 60 to 70 through the southern and western coast. And that means some very tricky driving conditions and these big waves around the coast. Through this evening and overnight, the rain will clear away. And as it does so, the winds will ease off. Wednesday is looking much better. The rain will clear away from the southeast, blustery showers across the northwest, in between some decent spells of sunshine, but the outlook for the end of the week, thankfully, dry up brighter, less windy.